Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Tongvio video conferencing system. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this comes with a pan tilt zoom camera and that's a 3x zoom. It also comes with a Bluetooth microphone. So let me get it open like a mount for it. We have the manuals here. Here's the speakerphone manual. This is what it comes with. It has a speaker and the cable, Bluetooth dongle, on the go adapter. The microphone has a battery. It takes approximately three hours to charge. So here are the button functions, LED light functions. You can pause and read through that. Here we have Bluetooth connection and we have the specs. And here's the camera manual. We have the different parts there. So this has USB RS-232, RS-485 connections. It's powered by 12 volts DC. There's the packing list. It comes with remote control. And here are the specs. So this is the V3U. So the video system is 1080p at 30 frames per second, 3x optical zoom. Video output is USB 2.0 and that will handle the 1080p video. And here we have the remote. So this has control of the camera and the remote here, camera zoom, installation instructions, as that wall mount I showed. And then here we have troubleshooting. Let's get this out. Microphone, there's the camera. So you can see this tilts, moves around. We have rubber feet on the bottom. We have dip switches. Looks like we have a quarter 20 tripod thread. Then on the back, we have those ports to control it. Here's the microphone. I say microphone, it's a speaker microphone. So we have rubber feet, very soft rubber on the bottom to isolate noise there. We have ports there, power button. And this box will have all the cables in it. Here's power for the camera. So output on this is 12 volts at two amps or 24 watts. Here's the USB cable. And here's a USB type C cable for charging this. And here is the USB A to USB C adapter. And this is the Bluetooth dongle. Here is the remote. It takes two AAA batteries. I'll put those in right now. And here we have mounting hardware. So I'm going to measure all these cables here. The USB cable for the camera is around 10 feet. The power adapter is 4 feet. Power cord for the power adapter is around 58 inches. The microphone charge cable is around 68 inches. So I'm going to get all this hooked up. There is a thin piece of film here I'll pull off. Okay, so I've got everything connected up. Let's head over to my computer so I can configure this. Okay, so I'm on my Mac here. And you can do a similar setup on Windows or Linux. So the first thing I'll do is turn on the microphone. Power on. Enter Bluetooth. Waiting for connections. Then I'll go into my system settings. I'll go to Bluetooth. Has a connection request. I'll hit connect. Bluetooth connection succeeded. So I've paired the speaker with my computer. Then I'll go to show all. I'll go to sound, and then I'll make sure this is chosen for input and output. So you see here's the input and here's the output. So now my audio will come through the Bluetooth speaker. So now I'll go to QuickTime. So this just appears as a USB camera to your computer. So you could use it with Skype, Zoom, OBS Studio, QuickTime. On Windows, you could use it with camera. You could use it with VLC. So I'll go into QuickTime. I'll say file, new movie recording. I'll plug in the USB camera. I'll press the power button to turn it on. I'll go to the record button here and I'll say USB FHD camera. So if you're on Windows, you could use the camera app to test it. So now I'll go back to that record button and I'll go to microphone and I'll choose the Tongvio speaker mic. So I'll turn off my camera light and I'm taking the remote control here and I'm going to use these buttons to direct the camera. I'll spin the camera around. I'll move it down. I'll hit the menu button on the remote. and It will bring a menu up in the upper left. That's why I wanted kind of a blank background. So I'll use the direction keys here to go into these menus. So here we have brightness is 50. For flicker, we have 50 hertz. So I'm in the US, so this should be actually 60 hertz. So I'll change that. And I'll press down, and then I'll press the left arrow to go back. Then we have color. So you can change the color settings here. Then we have image. So here we can flip the image or we can mirror it. So if you hang this upside down or different things like that, you can flip or mirror. And we have information. This just has the model of the camera. And then we have language. So I'll exit that. So next, let's look at doing some presets. So I'll move the camera around with the direction keys until it's pointing at me. So I'm kind of centered on myself. I'll zoom in. I'll use the zoom fast. Then I'll press preset one. So now if I move off my image and I hit preset one, 
it will go back to that. So I'm going to go, I have a computer to my right with another image on it, so I'll zoom out. So this could be a second person, so I'll hit preset two. So now if I want it to come back to me, I'll press one. If I want it to go back to the other person, I'll hit two. We can add another one here. Let me go to the 3D printer. So maybe I'm giving a seminar on 3D printing. I can have it show the 3D printer there. And this also works with the zoom, so I'll just zoom in a little bit. So about like that. And I'll set preset three. So again, I'll go back to myself. Go to two. And then three. So this also has some modes for manual focus. So I'll go up here. I'll hit manual focus and then I'll change this. I'll press near and far until we see the focus. So you can see the print head there on my printer is kind of blurry. I'll press it there and it's looking pretty sharp right about there. So I might actually want to set this as another preset. So I'll say preset four. So now I can go to three and I can go back to four. Now we also have up down that will flip it up or down, and then we have camera select. So that's if you have multiple cameras of this type, you can hit the button to switch between them. So let me stop my recording here. So when you're done using this, you can hit the power button and it will turn it off. Now the Bluetooth microphone and speaker is still on. So I'll quick play a little audio sample out of that. Okay, so that sounds very good at high volume. Now I had this plugged in, but we can unplug this. It has a battery in it. So if you have this in a conference room, you can put this in the middle of the conference room table. You don't have to have wires hanging off of it. And then you can have your camera off to the side, like maybe above your TV. So before your conference, you might come in and set up everyone's positions on presets, and then you can use the remote to control that. So along with conferences, you could also use this for something like podcasts. You could use it for YouTube video making. You know, I gave an example of with the 3D printer. So you could be talking about different technologies, and you could have this point to your workspace, point to the 3D printer, point to your face, and you just press the presets on the remote to do that. So that's the Tong Veo video conferencing system. So hopefully after watching this video, you have an idea of what you can do with a system like this. Video conferencing is not going away. It's only going to become more common. And there are many instances having a little webcam is not going to cut it. And this is really the way to go, where you have the microphone near where people are talking, and then you have a camera like this that can point at different people, and it can zoom in so you can get in closer to people. So I think it'll really help you connect with people better than just having a little webcam. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.